how to create canva gig and fiverr hi guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you how you can create your gig in a fiverr on canva your fiverr gig can be created on canva and that's what we are going to do today so let's get started now on fiverr you have to create a gig if you are a freelancer and you work on fiverr uh, you might know that that you have to actually create a gig for yourself and that gig involves image and image is a very important part of your gig like for example look at this one so we will be creating our gig of fiverr on canva and we will be using canva to create this amazing picture of our own for our gig uh, so in order to do that what you have to do is just go to canva.com now canva is an amazing platform where you can actually create a lot of images poster you can actually edit your videos you can create presentations you can create your social media post or whatever you want to do now canva can be used for anything and we will be using it to create our gig and now if you have not signed up for canva you can actually you know go for the free trial i will be using uh, the free version of canva and you can just you know simply sign up with your google account or with your facebook so once you have do that you will actually land uh, right here this is what canva looks like here you will see all of these different options for example your instagram Instagram post your logo whatever you want to create we're going to create an image of our own and to do that you can actually go with any of the image i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to select a desktop wallpaper because this is like 180 to 1920 uh, so i think the size is pretty big and it will actually look good so you can you know go with any of the design that you want to from here so i have selected this and this is what the page looks like now if i want to select any of the templates that have already been created by canva and uh, canva allows us to use them there are many free templates that you can actually use the ones that are not free you will see this crown in the pro a crown right here you cannot use them unfortunately but there are many options that you can actually use but for now i'm not gonna go with the template i'm going to go and create a, from scratch and we're gonna create our image so i'm gonna create an image for data entry gig uh, let's just say that you uh, do data entry so what we're gonna do is you will see this is my blank canvas now if i want to change the color of the canvas i can just simply go ahead and actually give any color to my canvas so for now now i'm not gonna go ahead and go with color i will go to elements right here now this is the option of templates you will see all the templates right here uh, this is the home option where you click and you can go back to your home anytime uh, we will save the image from here the option called download if i want to share my design i can do that as well so you can see right here that there is element option and in element i actually can go ahead and add anything i want to the image the graphics or any shape anything i want to add we we add from right here then there is text option from where we will be adding our text so let's go to elements and find an image and for the image let's go with maybe laptop you can just you know simply click right here and the canva will actually show you these results for laptop let's go to photos and i'm gonna find a picture of a laptop okay this one looks pretty good so you can see right here that these are different free images that i will be using so i will use this free image uh, which is completely free so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually you know make it the background i will make this image the background all i have to do is just click on it and you know scroll and drag and after that i can just make it as bigger as i want to there you go now this is the image and this will be my background for my gig now i want this image to be a little blur so what i will do is i will simply click right here edit image and i can just edit this image however i want to i will go to edges in edges let's go to blur and make it a little blur maybe three okay you can see now the image has been blurred a little too much let's go to four there you go now the image has been blurred the changes are saved automatically so i'm just gonna go ahead and go back so this will be my background now let's add some text for the text let's add a heading which is going to be data entry now i'm going to adjust the text all i have to do is just a right click on the text and drag it wherever i want it to be so let's just keep it here after that now you can see that i cannot actually see the text i will actually change the color 
to whatever color I want to. I can change the color of the text. If we go with maybe white, you can still not see it properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a background to this text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to elements. There you go. In elements, I'm going to select this square, which is also free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here. There you go. And I'm going to adjust it to the size of this right here this looks pretty good if i want to you know make it like this this will actually look pretty good so once i have done that i will just you know scroll it until i see these lines these are the lines they will actually tell me if my text is in the center or not if i click on uh, this right here and if i want to make it transparent let's make it a little transparent and there you go so this is how it looks super easy to add i added the text i added the element uh, from here so this is what it looks like now let's add the maybe our price again i'm gonna select the text and i'm gonna go ahead and add maybe my kick is ten dollars so the price i'm gonna keep it right here in the corner and again for the price add square and i'm gonna keep it right here let's make it a little smaller and i'm gonna select and make it smaller after that i will just simply click on it and drag it and drop it right here so you can see this is how it looks again i'm gonna make it a little transparent so this is how it looks after that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually add a text again a subtext which will be saying maybe typing that's what i'm gonna be doing after that i can add another text and that can say pdf word whatever you want to write you will just simply write it here and then i'm just gonna you know keep it here now these two actually do not look that good so i'm gonna make them bold so once they are bold this is how they look so i'm gonna you know keep gain make it a little smaller there you go okay let's make some change so what i'm gonna do right now is that you can see that i have added these words and these are actually not looking that good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna quickly make some changes again i have selected those boxes and i'm gonna you know keep my text here so this one actually looks good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make it a bit smaller actually make it according to that after that i can go again and i will select it from here and then i'm gonna make sure i have the exact same measurements so after that i'm gonna you know keep it so you can see right here that i have added these headings like this so this is a super easy you know simple looking gig that i created on canva it's super easy you can see the word data entry here then type pdf to word and my pricing right here so this is how you create an image on canva you can actually do a lot you can add different elements if you want to add different images if you want to add text you want to add colors you can just you know go ahead and do that i actually went with these nude colors um just to you know keep it a little professional you can go ahead and add as many colors as you want to and once you are done with that all you have to do is just click on download and once you click on download all i have to do is just select download and my image will be downloaded in a minute and you can see it literally takes seconds to download and once my image will be downloading my design that i created on canva this design can be used now i will just use this design for my gig on fiverr and it will look super cool when i will add it as my gig so yeah this is how you create a gig on canva Canva, you can create your gig image on Canva super easily with these basic steps. And once you do that, you will be able to attract the clients and get the job that you want to get. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you will be able to create amazing gig images of your own with Canva. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.